This is Paul Neal from Pen Productions and just going to demo a, a short preview of the XML UI that's uh, been under development here at uh, Pen. And we've got a character here that we're working on and a control panel open up that will display any controls uh, for any amount of characters or anything essentially in a scene. Open up the drop down menu and pick Kingstone as this uh, character's name is and we get a control system that opens up. It's tabbed so there can be multiple tabs per, uh, per control panel and we have multiple different types of controls as well. There are several in here. One is uh, uh, the small ones with the S in, which are quick selects. If we swipe over those, it'll quickly select items that are uh, on screen. So we could dra grab everything on the left hand, for instance, and be able to get to those to be able to you know, rotate them or do whatever else we need. Pick individual ones, or you can also hold down uh, Control or Alt and be able to add and subtract to selections whenever needed to be able to add and subtract to your selections on screen. We've got uh, controls down the center for a typical uh, sp uh, spine IK system. As well overall we also have some reset controls to be able to reset the uh, characters that have been set up. So one of the other uh, types are buttons. And in this case, we have a reset hand control button that has an action item for resetting. And in this case, it's resetting the hands it's been set up for. And again, this is completely customizable. There's also a, a select all uh, hand controls been uh, set up as well, which has got a re, uh, select action included. And there's also been one set up for a reset all to reset the entire character and all of its uh, in its entirety from uh, head to toe. This makes it very, very easy to get around. The arms are IKFK as well, and what there is is also the ability to have a button run, uh, a run action. And in this case, the run action will allow us to be able to run and have it run in the, um, and call on functions that are built into the character in this case. It could run external scripts, it could run just max script lines, whatever it is you uh, choose to run. And it'll, uh, it'll handle those and, and run those uh, as needed. There's also uh, spinners in the, down at the bottom, or sliders, sorry, down at the bottom. In this case, they're running the toes, right and left toes. And each uh, toe has multiple bones in it, with one uh, slider controlling each, uh, all of the bones. So any slider can handle any number of bones uh, to control it. So here we have uh, a setup where we've curled all the toes. Once that's done, you can also select the sliders. You also notice as the sliders are being uh, picked, they also have a select action included in them, as well as the uh, track action that is uh, handling the tracks of, of animation. So the select action is being called and selecting them so that we can see the uh, keys that have been placed on the toes at that point. Since both are um, animated here, we might want to reset one at any given point in time, get back to our default pose. And so what we can do is just right click on it and say reset selected controls, and that'll reset those selected controls in any of the tracks within them. So we can just go with one of them if we wanted, or we can say reset all controls and it'll reset all uh, slider joysticks in the entire uh, uh, current tab that we have open to make it really quick and easy to be able to get around to them. So I could also do just a reset all controls and my uh, default frame here to get the uh, those controls to uh, reset. On the facial tab, we also have um, more joysticks. So these are the same sliders going either way. But then we also have large joystick controls that can be hooked up to an X and a Y values. And again, they can carry uh, and hold any type, type of track you want. They could be running morpher tracks, position rotation tracks, um, even a track on a material. As long as it's an animatable track in Max, uh, it can access it and be able to animate and manipulate it. So in this case, we've got a simple setup for a tongue with a base and a tip control, as well as the ability to be able to twist it and flex it do whatever we need, we need with it. The face is a, just running, in this case, a morph uh, solution and allows us to be able to quickly get in and manip manipulate the entire face just through a quick UI system.
and we also have browse and anything else you choose to hook up to it target can also be selected really quickly through the quick select items to be able to target the eyes be able to rotate the eyes in place as well as a right and left if we want to be able to select individual targets and again quickly set up a reselect or select all uh, actions as well uh, to be able to quickly get around and, and manipulate the entire uh, face as well as just added a, a reset all button and a select all button quickly so that when it select all it's selecting all these hidden control objects on the scene uh, screen so that they can be shown uh, one at a time uh, down in the in the uh, timeline again at any time right clicking saying reset all reset the entire face and have it go back to its starting point this can be customized in any way, shape, or form, any background images uh, that is uh, wished. It's also got a real-time feature. Turning that off means that you uh, get speedier access to your uh, time slider um, without it having to update all of the um, controls on screen. But as soon as you let go, it then updates the, uh, the sliders as needed so that they're uh, representing the true values. Put it into real-time, and you get real-time access to the sliders feeding back but a slightly slower feedback system as the uh, UI has to update. Hope you like the new UI system. It's called XML UI.